Hello everyone, today I'm here to talk about Truly Madly Guilty by Leanne Moriarty. This is her newest book that literally just came out last month. I thought I would talk about it with you guys. I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible and as spoiler free as possible. I'm not sure if I can do the spoiler free part. We'll learn eventually, but I will warn you. <laughs> but overall, like I said, this is her newest book and it's not my favorite. It's the fifth book of Leanne Moriarty that I've read and I, it's not my favorite but it's not my least favorite. It kind of, kind of falls somewhere in the middle for me. This is all about quintessentially a barbecue gone wrong. So we have three different couples and these couples come together and they have this barbecue and a huge tragic event happens as in most of her books and you discover and you take the majority of the book getting to that event to explore what it is. And like I said I didn't love this book. I think I expected a lot more my favorite book of hers by far is The Husband's Secret. That was a great mystery kind of thing where it was like a mystery. Her books have an air of mystery but it's not really mystery. It's more about you know undercover underlying feelings and relationships and all that stuff but I felt like even the mystery of this book was kind of just not the best. <laughs> <laughs> and also another thing I didn't really enjoy was the characters in this book. We have three different couples and I didn't really like a single one of them because they all had really big faults and a lot of strained relationships in this book that I didn't really enjoy. Like I, like I said, I didn't enjoy this book. I know a lot of people love it because it's Liam Moriarty and I think, you know, I read her books super fast because they are addicting. You can start a one of her books and finish it in a couple days because you just have to keep going and I was definitely this way with that but I just felt like this book could have been a lot more because I don't know I just felt like it could have been like I said the characters are just kind of uh, you know we have this whole two of our main characters Erica and Clementine are always like sisters they've been best friends ever since you know forever but you learn throughout this book that they have a very strained and very hard relationship where it's kind of like one-sided and I didn't really enjoy that aspect I get that that happens but I really felt like it kind of wasn't resolved at the end with them. Like I really wanted more when it came to that. I didn't love it. Um, there's also, you know, a lot of different, like a lot of marriage problems in this book, which I did, which I did enjoy reading about, and a lot of IVF problems, which I really wanted to delve into more. Um, as a person that has struggled with infertility, I've never done IVF, but I have, you know, had infertility and, you know, miscarriages and things like that. I'm always interested to read somebody's perspective on it because you know I went through it but I didn't really feel like it touched too much on it which I really wanted more but you know I will say the one character I did enjoy a lot I didn't really have a lot of like time in this book is Oliver which is the husband of Erica I really felt like he was probably the, the best maybe I don't know I just felt like all these characters had such huge problems and they were just very flawed which I get everyone is flawed but these characters I just didn't really feel a heart for any of them it, well I'd say Eric and Oliver are probably my two that I really liked a lot but they both had their own faults but yeah I love Liam Moriarty and I love her air of mystery but I feel like a lot of her a lot of her books are the same she kind of follows a specific formula which I think it works for the majority of her books but some books it doesn't work out you know her thing is you know there's a huge event that happens that something tragic happens at this event and you pretty much uncover it throughout you pretty much uncover it the kind of the ender of the book and backstories of all our main characters that were kind of involved in it which some books like I said does work this one I felt like it was kind of not the best so I don't know I feel like maybe she should just break away from her formula a little bit and try something a little bit different but I'm not to say like I hate this book you know there's a lot of good things about it I know this relationships were strained but it was interesting to read about them and their children and all that kind of stuff so by no means did I hate this book at all I just kind of wish it was a little bit better I think it could have been better so if I give it a rating I would give it a three out of five it was just it felt kind of in the middle of the line for me for her books and yeah, you know, if you loved it, that's amazing. I'm happy that you loved it, but I was just someone that didn't love it as much. If you like this book, please let me know what your thoughts are. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Please leave them down in the comments below. And I have done reviews on a lot of, I think, all of Liam Moretti's books, so I'll leave them up here as well as down below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.